Hello everyone. So I have so many favorites to talk about this month. I even have a few unfavorites too because I've been doing some serious product testing and I also have some other non-beauty favorites in here too. So I'm just gonna keep on talking and telling you the favorites. But first, before I start, get a cup of tea. I always say that and then I'm like, what if someone doesn't like tea? I'm gonna start with a product that really, I didn't expect to like at all. It's the YSL Le Saharien Healthy Glow Blur Perfector. This is essentially a cream bronzer. It comes in this gorgeous little compact here, but it's like a cream butter, buttery cream and it's not a slippy cream it's a cream that sets and it's a cream that lasts and it's a cream that blends like no other cream it is so so gorgeous I've been using it on a buffing brush on my cheeks it just adds a tiny hint of color I find that sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I don't want to wear that much makeup I'll apply a bit of mascara I'll like swirl my fingers in this slap this on my cheeks apply some lip gloss and that's it and it just gives you like a bit of color and a bit of glow it's definitely Definitely a no makeup makeup summer product and you can also build it up for a more intense look if you like it. My next favorite is something I stalked Sephora for because I'm highlight obsessed and I was so excited to get my hands on this and then it broke and then I managed to get another one. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill, which makes me so excited to see this like in a Sephora and on a Sephora online. I'm like so happy about the YouTube community like doing such amazing things and coming up with such amazing products. This is what I have on my cheeks right now. I used it in a recent strobing tutorial. If you guys wanna watch that, I'll link it on the screen right now if you want to see this in action but it's like this highlighter is a dream you guys it is golden and glowy and juicy and it's very intense it is very intense I've been wearing it with a really light hand in the daytime because I love the glow but right now I've piled it on quite a bit and it's like what I like to do more at nighttime it's so 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 beautiful it's like my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that I love that's like my holy grail highlighter from the film star bronze and glow palette it's like that but ten times better okay now I'm gonna switch it up do a little bit of unfavorites this was an unfavorite highlighter this month it's from Josie Marin it's the Argan illuminating veil first of all it has like really intense silver flecks in it which I wasn't really too much of a fan of it is quite a light golden shade, so I feel like if you're my skin or darker, this just kind of comes up a bit white and powdery on me. If you're fair skinned, this could work for you, but then again, the formula of this is quite powdery and I find that it kind of like sits on top of the skin rather than just like making you look lit from within. I know I've mentioned this powder countless times, so I'm gonna like brush over this super quickly, but I've basically tried out so many powders this month and I just think this is the bomb diggity dong. It like just blows all the other powders away. It's like the powder that I compare all other powders to because it's the best. It's the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. It's just so nice. It's so, so good. It's really light. It doesn't cake on the skin. You kind of like apply a layer layer throughout the day and like mattify everything down. It doesn't make you look flat. It doesn't leave like a kind of like powdery dolly kind of look on the skin. Did I just smudge my lipstick? Probably. I'm gonna do quite a bit of traveling over the next month so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you want to see where I'm going and what I'm getting up to and all my like summer pictures and everything. My username is at Amelia Liana and this is going to be coming around with me pretty much the whole summer. First Aid Beauty Vitamin Hydrating Mist. It's like, oh, first of all it smells so good. It smells like fruits and cherries and papaya and just like, mmm, it's just it smells like yumminess. It's a squirter, okay guys? So it's not a makeup setting spray kind of mist. It's like a give me life into my face kind of mist when you're like dry and gross and you just wanna refresh. It's the kind of mist that if you've come home and your foundation's looking gross and everything's just like dry, it's the kind of mist that's like I'm gonna give you life into your skin again quickly without you needing to redo your makeup. Lipsticks wise, I have been basically wearing one of these two lipsticks this entire month. They're both from the Charlotte Tilbury Norman Parkinson collection. And one is the one I'm wearing right now. It's 1975 Red. It's super coral, it's just like pouting. It's, 
<laughs> it's super corally. It's really bright. It's just so summery and gorgeous. And the other one is Miss Kensington, which is like a pinky baby nude. And I love wearing that over her lip cheat in Pillow Talk. Matte Revolution lipsticks were a game changer for me when I discovered them, I think maybe a year ago when they came out. And they're so, so, so good. They're like creamy and hydrating, but they last and they set and they don't dry out your lips. They're basically my holy grail lipstick. That is a bold statement, but I'm rolling with it. Moving on to the unfavorite of the day. Well, the next unfavorite of the day. Now this was quite a hyped up product and I was first of all not really a fan of, I wasn't super excited to try it out because it's quite shimmery and I don't normally tend to go for shimmery bronzers. It's the Hourglass Ambient lighting bronzer and I have the shade radiant bronze light I found this looked really gorgeous on the skin once I put it on but then maybe two hours later it just wasn't even there anymore it's like I never even applied it and I didn't find it to blend super easily into my skin I did need to kind of like work it into the skin even though I loved the initial color it wasn't as long lasting as I would like it to be. Next is something that I got, I think, from the Birchbox shop. Ooh, I just like got all my highlight on it. I'd never heard of this brand. It's called Parla. This is the moisturizing sea salt spray. Now, when I read the word moisturizing on this, I was like, ooh, this sounds really intriguing because sea salt sprays are something that I find quite drying on my hair. I have quite dry hair anyway because I do color it and straighten it and tongue it and all that jazz all the time, but I still want the grit in my hair. And this kind of like nails that. I'm gonna give you the grip but not give you straw hair thing plus it smells really really good I'm super late on the bandwagon with this but I think I'm the last person on planet earth to have this palette it's called the comfort zone palette from wet and wild you get eight shades in here all of which are so 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 gorgeous I've been using like this side of the palette so much and this shade definer really reminds me of matte club it's such a gorgeous like bluey browny color it has this kind of like duochrome look to it the pigmentation of these is like unreal you do get a tiny bit of fallout but nothing major they're really buttery they're super easy to blend i did use this in a summer makeup look recently so i'll link that on the screen right now if you guys want to go and watch that and see this in action my last unfavorite is from ico now this is the black magic lash boost it's basically this little wand of fibers you apply your mascara you apply this kind of like wand as you would a mascara the fibers kind of attach onto the mascara then you apply another layer of mascara and it's supposed to give you really thick voluminous lashes it did give me thicker but more voluminous lashes however it wasn't that much of a difference and the little fibers like kept going in my eye so after i applied it i was literally like this for like 30 minutes my eyes were like watering i don't know maybe i just have like really sensitive eyes my eyes were like watering basically made my mascara which never really runs on me run and i didn't look at my makeup the whole evening till I got home I was out from like 7 to 12 at night and I got home and I had mascara all the way down here and no one told me and I know that mascara the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara never really smudges on me so it was definitely down to this it just made my eyes really uncomfortable the whole evening the kind of like fibers kept falling into my eyes and I was just kind of like walking around the whole evening like this I've been on a really big cooking fest this month I've just been obsessed with baking and cooking and like inviting everyone over for meals all the time I've just gotten into it so so much which you guys will definitely have seen on snapchat every day I'm like bacon again bacon again here's Amelia bacon again <laughs> this is my favorite book I've discovered recently it's by a girl called Natasha Cora it's the honestly healthy cleanse I just find her salads in here are so good everything's really easy it's really straightforward everything's really filling and I haven't made something that I don't like I mentioned this in my health and fitness update video my favorite thing I think if I had to pick one thing from the whole book is her tomato stuffed aubergines they are so 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 good I have two jewelry favorites this month and the first one is obviously from my collection with Majuri which obviously I'm still loving <laughs> and it's the midi or pinky ring I can either put it on my middle or first finger and have it as like a midi ring or I can have it on my pinky finger and I love having pinky finger rings because I love being like Phoebe and friends and like have my hands like covered in rings and the second one is such a unique piece when I got this I just stared at it I honestly did I just sat in the mirror I put it on and I stared at it and I was like you are 
so beautiful and amazing. It's from a brand called By Alona. It's one of my favorite jewelry brands. And it has this like gorgeous choker with a really thick chain. And in the middle it says what goes around. And then it has two chains coming out of that which wraps around like a body chain. I cannot tell you, I don't think I've ever got this many compliments on a piece ever. I was actually walking down the road and I was crossing a zebra crossing and someone got out their taxi to ask me where this was from and then she got back in her taxi and I was like wow that has never happened to me before. There's an outfit that you guys would have seen in my weekly vlog that I've just fallen in love with and I want to wear it like every day. This brand is one of my favorite brands. It's called NBDX Maven. I've definitely mentioned it before. And first I bought this skirt, which is like a really cute flowy printed skater skirt. I went back on Revolve and I saw they had a matching top and I love the kind of cut out detail at the front. I love that it's like a matching cute little cord and I love that you can kind of switch it up. I can play this with like a black skirt or last time you guys saw me in my vlog, I was wearing this with the black top and then you can also wear them together. On my nails this month pretty much has been the entire Essie collection and I've done a post on all the shades and everything so I'll link that post below but I think this one's been my favorite. It's called Peach Side Babe which I think is so cute. It's just a gorgeous like milky peachy color. So those are all my June favorites and unfit. Oh my god it's not June it's July. Oh July 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 July. Get that in my head. This year is going so crazy quickly. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you're following me on Instagram because I post so many pictures on there all the time. My username is at Amelia Liana. I hope you guys had an awesome July and I will see you in a couple of days time with a new video. Bye! The first one is something that I have been dying to get my hands on for so long and it's always sold out every time I go to the US. And it's also from The Balm. You guys know I love The Balm. I just mentioned that as I was doing my little unboxing. It's the Nuditude palette. I just needed to snap my fingers when I said that because it's like attitude, but nuditude. Trust Estee and I to get lost within three minutes of leaving our hotel room. What do you have to say about this, Estee? I don't know where we are. <laughs> Look, does anyone see any action? <laughs> no, nothing. Turn up, 